and Roger was going home uh, for something that he wanted to do. And we were on the same plane. He, of course, flying first class, me flying, flying tourist. And he um, uh, made, although we saw, you know, we saw each other at the check-in, etc. He, he ignored me totally. And so, you know, I went home and I wrote my review of the, of the gig. And then two or three days later, I got a letter from Roger Waters. And it said, Dear Carl Dallas, this is, first, this is the first and probably the last time where I will ever write to a member of your ignoble profession. I mean, so pompous. He's a real preg, is Roger, and I love him dearly. Um, but when I was in Frankfurt with you, I hadn't read your article. And I found it amazing to discover there is somebody who really understands what we're on about. And Gloria and I went to see um, Alan Price at the uh, Wembley Conference Centre, thank you. Um, and sitting behind us was Roger Waters. So I turned around and I said, I've got your letter. That was very, very nice of you. I'm, I really appreciate that. It's one of my most precious possessions, actually, I have to say, you know, because it's the only time a member of his ignoble profession has written to me. Um, and I said, obviously, you know, you, you see me as different from the other guys. How about an interview? He said, Carl, we don't do interviews. But when we do, I promise you, you will be the only one who does. And so it became that when, when uh, the final cut came out, uh, there were journalists, uh, newspapers and magazines all over the world clamouring with EMI or Sony uh, for interviews. And they were told by EMI or Sony, you have to use Carl Dallas's interview. And so uh, for a few years, I was on a bit of a gravy train there until they quarrelled with each other. And uh, Dave Gilmore was fine. He... Um, you know, he didn't want me to take sides. He, 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 you know, he's a very intelligent man. But for Roger, you're either for me or against me. And if you're going to go with Dave, uh, then um, I'm not going to have anything more to do with you. And the funny thing was, at that stage, I interviewed both of them. And both of them said, off the record, wonderful things about each other. Um, without any qualifications, I mean, subsequently, uh, Roger said about Dave, um, Dave is a wonderful guitarist, but he can't write songs for Toffee. Well, I don't know why he bothers. But he didn't say that to me. He didn't say anything about his songwriter. He just said what a wonderful musician he was and what a great privilege it was to work with him. But don't report me. And Dave did exactly the same thing. He said, Roger is an incredible lyricist. And, you know, without him, there'd have been no wall. Um, but again, don't quote me. 